drowsy. Today is my second from last day of working in an office cubicle and I hope that I never work in an office job ever again in my entire life. I don't know if that's gonna happen, um, but if you're new to my channel, I just recently got my dream job as a flight attendant and I'll be going to training in a few weeks here. So I just got the job like two weeks ago or I got invited to training, that's how it works. And then once you get your wings, you're technically a flight attendant. So I'll be going to training in two weeks. I got based in Chicago. If you didn't see my last video, I announced that. So I'll be living in Chicago as a flight attendant after a month of training in Florida. I'll be done at my office job tomorrow. And I just wanted to share some vlog content that I had in my library that has to do with this office job. So a few weeks ago, I was really, really discouraged because I didn't have any time to film any new content. And I was watching a bunch of videos like how to grow your channel when you're really small and all these things. And a lot of people were basically saying like, you have to have time for it, obviously. But one girl said that if you don't have time to film, like if you work too much or you don't have time to film consistently, don't even bother starting a channel. And I like hated that advice. I was like, what? That's like the most horrible advice ever. Like. Financially, some people can't just like stop working and work on YouTube 24 seven and that was me. Anyway, I basically was thinking in my head, I don't like that mentality, like you shouldn't even do a channel if you don't have time. I was like, I wanna make time. You know, even if it's like daily vlogging, like going to work or something, like what else can I do? I gotta do something, I gotta keep this going. I love filming videos, I need to figure out something. So I was like, wait, I have a lunch break of an hour each day at work and I usually go and do things. Like I'll go run errands to the post office. Like most people just go and like sit in the break room and just eat I don't like to do that because I have things to do and after work I go to my second job so I need to get certain things done so I vlogged like a good week of content of like my lunch breaks and I thought since this is my last week at this office job I wanted to put out a video just like of what my office job was like and what my lunch breaks were like I thought that I would release that video this week and then next week I'll have some more content regarding my move packing and organizing um i'm really sorry for the long intro if you're new here please subscribe and thank you so much to all my new subbies i said in my last video i really want to hit 200 subscribers before i go to training and i'm already over 200 i was like oh, thank you so much i will see you on the next video which will be about packing and moving and you'll see more of that process but for now here's a look into my office job lunch breaks bye allzies Linda called me and I called and talked to Sue a few minutes ago. Uh, Sue's still coughing. She's going to the foot doctor tomorrow. I said, you need to go to the lunch. Hey, Elsie. So it is a Monday. Hopefully my car is not really, really loud. Um, I'll be filming my lunch breaks this week so you can see just how fun it is to work a full-time job. <laughs> Not. So today I am spending my lunch break running errands, which is what most people do since by the time you get off at 5 or 5.30, the place you need to go to is closed always. So I'm going to be going to the UPS store to return the waist trainer that didn't fit me. It would not even snap or button or clip or fasten. I don't even know the word. The little hooks would not even close on my big old stomach. So I'm gonna go return this to the UPS store. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today on my lunch break. And we'll see what else we end up doing. What? What is this place? Um, this is so weird. What the hell is going on right now? Hi. Good, I just had an Amazon return and that's the code. Okay, wait. Done. So it's already 121 and I only have an hour. So as you can see, just doing one tiny little task took 20 minutes okay so i just returned my amazon thing and i thought i would go down to this little supermarket and try to get um some fruit or something for lunch Ooh, so i ran into a little sidewalk sale 
Okay, let's see what we got here. $160 for this. Bye-bye. What? Oh my god. Girl, bye. $25 for this little shirt. No, no, no. Okay, but I need to leave because, you know what, I'm not going to buy to spend no $60 on a shirt when I can go thrift it for $2. Okay, let's go to the supermarket now. Hello. Uh, no bag, please. It is now 1.47 and with that my lunch break is officially practically over and all I did was buy some blackberries and drop off an Amazon return. What is up guys? So it is Tuesday and we are back with a, another very, very, very exciting lunch break. Um, today I'll be going to the post office to mail a few things and then I'll be going to Lowe's to return a few things and buy some ant traps. All right, so I just got to the post office. Um, this is like the cutest post office ever. It's in a city called Franklin. It's like a really old, like historical looking town. I don't know, but it's so cute. So I always go here. Um, it's really close to my work. And I just love how old and cute it is. I don't know. Um, I'm shipping one thing for Poshmark, one thing for eBay. And then my sister is in boot camp. So I'm sending her a letter if you're watching this. I love you, Sashi. So we are now at Lowe's to return some things that I bought from my house like a year ago and never used them. And I might be moving out of my house soon. So I'm gonna see if I can return them for some store credit. Shout out to Lowe's. I don't even know what to get, like, um, <laughs> so for once in Michigan's existence, it is hot and sunny, and I forgot my sunglasses, and my car does not really have working AC, like, it kind of works, but it's not, it needs a recharge, um, so it's not that cold, um, so I'm kind of dying. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my lunch vlog as you can see i'm at the cemetery i know a lot of people would consider that really weird but cemeteries are super beautiful and me and my mom have gone to a bunch of them uh, especially in chicago there's some of the largest ones there so yeah i will take you on a little tour and we'll see if there's anything extra cool worth filming um but yeah i'm just gonna be going on a walk pretty much So as you can see here, there's some of these older tombstones, 1855. Um, back here, you can see some of these are really old. And you'll notice on the tombstone, it says died. And then I can't really make out the date. But it's kind of interesting because they don't normally use that terminology on newer tombstones. Died sounds very like harsh. I don't know. Most people don't put died on the tombstone nowadays. Up here in the shade, you can see all the moss on the ground. It's so beautiful. And over here, there's more grass. But right underneath this tree, it's just full of green moss. So this one here, you can see the top actually fell out and it's fallen down. But I think it looks really cool how it's like seeping into the ground. So here's the sign for it. Um, kind of shows you where all the tombstones are. If you go to like find a grave, somebody will probably have the exact number. And then you can kind of see where you can go to find that grave. These six um, tombstones really caught my attention. They're on a slant and they just all look really, really interesting. You can tell they're really old. It looks like 1867. Thank you so much. Okay, so I already have to go back to work. I'm really sweating to death from walking in the sun and my car's AC not working. So yeah. 
Welcome back to the lunch vlog. It is raining and I just thought it would be a great idea to walk across the street to Chipotle. So I'm just walking in the rain right now. The Qdoba is secured and I am on my way back to the office. I tried to eat in there and it was like, I'm not even exaggerating, 45 degrees in that Qdoba. And I'm like looking at the lady, I'm like, are you guys like sick or something? Like, so I'm actually eating lunch. <laughs> this was supposed to be my office space when I got this job. And then they told me, no, you have to be in the cubicle area. So I'm just gonna eat lunch in here. It's warm in here. I know it looks a little weird, but I actually really wanted this to be my office because I would have an entire room to myself. So yeah, I'm gonna eat lunch here. So here's the lunch I got. It's just a Qdoba. Whoops, like salad chicken bowl. Yummy, yummy. So today I was lucky enough to be taking my lunch at home because I have been at home um, taking an accounting class. So I'm just gonna make a salad really quick on my lunch break. I have this spring mix from Trader Joe's. The lettuce looks like this. And I also have a large English cucumber. So I'm going to cut that up really quick. Next, I'm gonna take some of these tomatoes from Trader Joe's, add some of those. And then on the side here, I've started kind of a little snack bag. So I like to make snacks while I'm making my meals, just so they're in the fridge. So I'm gonna make like a veggie bag. And then I'm gonna add like two more of these, and I've washed these, obviously. I'm gonna take this outside at my house, just so I can enjoy this beautiful weather in my backyard. And um, I know this vlog wasn't the most exciting, but because I don't have a lot of time to film due to my two jobs, I thought, why not film on my lunch break? And I just thought it would be at least something that I could do for now until I get more time. So yeah, this is my backyard. Cute little area for a bonfire pit. I have my grill over there. And then there's a large deck here, but it's super, super messy. So now I'm gonna eat my lunch and I will catch up with you guys next week.